What I what I've been told is is in you're gonna get a ceiling height, an elevation of whatever, okay, eight feet and above usually. Um, or what they'll say is uh, go one inch below the the like the highest or the lowest duct, right? So you need to make sure if there's any mechanical plumbing or anything in here, you need to stay down one inch minimum from any duct work. Okay, so and that's air clearance, right? So if you got hat track, if you're framing it with hat track, for example, right? You got to that is seven eighths, right? And you're also going to need bracing this way, which is going to be another seven eighths. Okay, and that's just to the bottom of, of your of your steel, right? So one inch air space, right? So two inches, uh, inch and three quarter, sorry, inch and three quarter for steel, right? So you're gonna come down two and three quarter from the lowest, uh, from the lowest duct, okay? It's always the same. It's always the same, uh, okay? You want it, you always have to have a one inch airspace. So you're gonna have a plumbing and mechanical, electrical, and duct, so you got a big duct, you gotta be an inch. You need to have an inch from the lowest point, okay? Um, a lot of times guys go tight, but that's not code, and you got caught, you're gonna have to change it, okay? It's just follow this rule and you'll always be safe, right? So you got your, you got, now you got your number. So now what you wanna do is you check uh, for high side and low side. So say, this side's uh, high, right? This is the number you go with, right? This is the number you go with, okay? Because you can't grow your wall, okay? Or hold on, let me think here. Uh, yeah, because you, if you, it, it's always go off the high side. Always check. Then go off the high side, not the low side. Oops. Okay, it's straight up simple. So uh, what I mean by that is say it's you're measuring, you got your, you got your line laser, okay, and you're checking your elevation, and it's um, your 98 quarter there, 98 over here, okay? That's to the line, from the concrete to the line, right? So basically, boom, you're gonna make sure your laser is set to the high mark and that's where you get your elevation. So make sure from the high mark, you got your uh, inch and three quarter, oh, sorry, two and three quarter. If you just quickly check the elevation they provide, whether it's nine foot or eight foot, um, okay, you just double check and set it where, where it's at. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, ceilings are pretty, you know, pretty straightforward. And like the same bulkheads and anything like that, I, I lay it out on the ground, okay? Um, and, and same thing, if you're, if you got a duct run here, okay? And you're got a, and you got to bulkhead it out, right? You got to have one inch all around, okay? So you also got to be one inch away from the front, okay? Lasering up here, okay? It's pretty, pretty straightforward, guys. So you got a laser level this way and a laser level this way, okay? You're gonna plumb up the front and you're gonna level the bottom. So the standard centers um, are one, one, foot on, one foot on center, 16 inch on center, and uh, um, two foot, right? Two foot slash 24 inch on center, okay? Those are your standard uh, centers, okay? I'm, I don't, I don't think I've ever done it differently. Uh, um, yeah, twelve inch, sixteen or twenty four. That's it. So um, that's it. There's, that's your three layouts: one foot, two, two foot, or sixteen inch. So the idea of the sixteens, right, is it um, divides the uh, the sheet up, right? Divides the sheet up nice. So that's your idea. That's the idea behind the 16s, okay?
is it's it's how we divide our, our drywall, our, our 48 watt, 48, 48 inch wide drywall. Okay. It's how we screwed off nice and evenly type thing, okay? Access granted.